Hello guys, I'm making another video today. Um, this is explaining kind of why I haven't been posting, I guess you could say. Um, one reason, some of y'all may know I got into cooking. This, I mean, put a link to my, not a link, but the name of my lacoon hunting channel. My lacoon hunting channel down below. Like and subscribe and like and subscribe to both of them. Has a picture of my dog. I'll put him up on the screen. It'll be at the end of this video. Okay. So, um, yeah. I don't know why I pulled out fake money, but I did. Um, he'll later own if I buy what I'm wanting to get. I'm gonna start making. My own shirts, okay. So, my own shirts, probably with a logo. I don't know yet what logo I'll pick, but I will have some sort of logo on it. So, yeah, if I even get that far. I don't know if I will or not, so, yeah, y'all find out, but, um, but, I'm gonna, as you know, if you do not like, you know, don't be, uh, I can't say abused, though not, but, uh, what you gonna call it? I guess you'd say being mean to made, li made listen and get whooped with a chain. Literally, I'll show you what I use for a leash. Okay, so I use this for a leash. This here. I don't know what these are for, but I hope, I hope I will whoop them with this if they disobey. Normally I tell them why and everything else. So, it ain't no reason. And if you don't like seeing your dogs, dogs getting hurt, I advise not checking that channel out. But other than that, feel free to. I don't care. Um. I ain't gonna be able to subscribe, but um, it's okay. But um, check. Um, I'm gonna leave another man's channel. I'm gonna say it not like not like kennels. He he ain't the one that got me into coon hunting or nothing. But, he wasn't the one that made me get into it or nothing. So, he's just, I'll put him in the description too. Um, he just, uh, help explain things on coon hunting and stuff. Probably better than I do. Now, a buddy of mine got me in. A buddy of my dad's and I got me in coon hunting, so that's why I got that's how I got into coon hunting. But since now I've watched a few of his videos, they're really good. But um, yeah, he does some good stuff on his channel. He did not ask me to do this. Personally, I do not know. But, um, yeah. And ignore this mess behind me. I ain't got no else to put jackets and stuff right now. So, yeah. I've got to get a rack. But, but, um, yeah. But, um, he didn't. 
I do here. I watch his videos for review on reviews on things like uh, his Sport Dog Tech 2.0. You could say it is what I. He is the one that said he did a review on it. He said what he thought personally about it. No thanks. So yeah, I'm gonna probably do the same thing with some of my stuff. Like half of the stuff I've got, ignore that notification, ignore. I'm back, I got cut out there for a second. But like everything else, I, everything I use from the lamps to, I don't know on my dog box, I think you can still get it, but my headlamps, to my handheld and tracking system. They're obsolete. You can't even get them no more unless you buy them used. And see, I, I traded the gun to all my setup except for one dog. One of the dogs out there. One of my hounds. I'll pop a picture up both of them later in the video. So yeah. But I'm gonna let you know this. It don't think I be my dogs. They get fed. They get watered. They're treated like they should be. They're good dogs, but I just make them listen. And I'm a little bit more strict on my dogs than other people. So, yeah. I think pretty much all the coon hunters are stricter on their dogs than normal people. So, yeah. Don't ignore that. Ignore it. It ain't being mean. It's making them listen. Y'all, when y'all get a puppy and y'all try to leash train it, if y'all leash train them, you don't sit there and let it do what it wants to. You make it listen, don't you? I'm going to assume y'all do. That's, what I, that's pretty much what I'm doing to mine. Making them listen. Pretty much. So, yeah. <clears throat> But, um, see, man, the color it is a DC 40. I want to say it's either a DC 40 or 50. It ain't 50. The DC 40 or 30. Obsolete. think I think this headlamp is obsolete now I don't know but yeah so I'm not gonna mess up but it is it's black I ain't gonna turn it out but it's black mm. obsolete that Alpha 200 is their newest product. Mine's an Astro 220. They make a 420. No, it may be a 430. Yeah. The 320 is obsolete. But the then they have an Astro 900. And I'm just going to show y'all that's what my system looks like. You know, dog. Is what I have. My color set to use dog. I mean, I don't want to delete. No, no. Back, back. Mark, mark. No. Covery. Yeah. Truck ATV large count tree stand. Map. Back, map. See, that was the last. If I put this collar, walk that time, put this collar on my dog. It would show me how, with this in here, it would show me how far, physically how far I am. I am from my dog. So, yeah. But, something else is.
There's three different, two different deers you can do on your dog. Uh, small numbers. No, messed up there. I mean, they're big numbers. I prefer, personally, prefer big numbers at night. That's when you go to But, um, yeah. So, yeah. That is what. But, if you go over to my channel, don't think I'm being mean to my dog, seriously. I'm not. I think I've explained that enough in this video. Mostly, it's going to be dog training on that. More dog training than anything. And stuff like that. Now, say I get a new head now. Or a new tracking system. Or a new to you, a used collar or something. I'm going to show you what I got. I'm going to do a review on it. Which, honestly... That buddy that got me in the coon on him gave me the antenna and the collar. He didn't give me the the device itself. But so yeah. That is it for today's video.